Hey guys, Billie Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodles. Today we're doing vaccine for Charlie and Dave's litter. They're seven weeks old. So last week they were six weeks old, obviously a week before, and we went to the vet, got the vet checkup, all that good stuff. Everybody was perfect, but this week, so today at seven weeks old, we are gonna do vaccines. So we do the puppy vaccines at seven weeks old. And if you want to look it up, this is the vaccine that we do. So there are much cheaper vaccines out there. So I actually, when I was, I just reordered vaccines. And um, when I was ordering these, I ordered them from Revival. When I were ordering them, they, um, I'm like looking, making sure that I'm getting this, you know, the same vaccine as before, because there is a whole list of them. This is the same vaccine that my holistic vet does. So I was looking and I saw there was a DA2 PPV, um, I forget what, it, it was another one. It was another vaccine that we used to do, like our vet used to do, and it was much cheaper. I was like, why is that cheaper? So I'm looking and it's just, that's the way it is. You know, when they come out with better things, they're gonna be more expensive. There's better stuff in them. So this is the most expensive vaccine for what we like to vaccinate for. We don't do lepto and stuff yet, um, but we do do distemper, parvo, um, and the para-influenza vaccine. So that all is in this. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but what we're gonna do today is get the puppies out, not really show them off much, but we do wanna go ahead and give all the vaccines, get them ready. If you can hear them outside barking, they're playing right now. I might've picked the wrong time of day, but we actually kind of almost pulled an all-nighter last night. So Katie had a litter of 12 yesterday. So don't forget to go over and watch that video. It'll be posted before this one. And it's the live birth video. So I just think, I know it's long, obviously a litter of 12, but it's just so magical to watch these babies come out, see what they are, see how beautiful they are, see them sucking, like the whole process so fast is just incredible. That's one of the reasons why I love to do this. I do love the birthing process. So let's go ahead. We're tired. The puppies are not, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get them out one by one, show them off. I do need to weigh them today too, but I'm not gonna do it on camera because again, it's not the right time. I'm gonna wait until they come back in, they get sleepy, and then I'll start handling them. Oh, and I took their pictures yesterday, last night, as puppies were being born. So kind of trying to juggle some things in between. They were doing so good. And I'm gonna put a little video clip in here of them eating in the crate. They are so adorable, so look at them. So this was yesterday, puppies were being born, and then these puppies are seven weeks old and they're just hanging out in the crate, you know, after they ate while I'm doing stuff. You know, I'm walking around and birthing puppies and, you know, walking the other dogs and getting everything together and they're just hanging out. That's what makes this whole process so good and also crate exposure. It's just, it's awesome. It, it's awesome. It makes it easier for you, easier for me, and just continue it. When you get your puppy, continue that. Don't give in. So let's go ahead and we'll start with Mr. Blue. So let me go outside and grab him. So here's Mr. Blue again. Look how gorgeous he is in that tail wagon. I am so happy that this family got to meet this puppy and pick it out themselves. You know what I forgot? Let me go get their chart because they have names and I wanna be able to tell you what they are. Okay, we're back. So again, here's Mr. Blue. They've actually named him Mocha. So aren't you just cute? Does Mocha fit you? <gasps> yeah, <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, I just love them so much. So I know I'm always holding them up so close. Can you see how small they are? Maybe not, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell, but they're really not as big as what the video makes them look or the pictures. When the families come to visit, they're always like, oh my gosh, they're so much smaller. So here's Mr. Blue, cutie patootie. You ready for a shot? Are you ready? All right, so shot time. So here are our vaccines. You tint the skin, push through, pull back, there's a suction. So then you give it. So like I've said in all my other videos, and I kind of just want to rephrase because if you haven't seen them before this one. So when 
We tent the skin, so you pull it up like this. You're gonna have a pocket that you can actually put the needle into that you make sure that you don't go through, like in and through the other side. So we tent the skin, and as long as you pull back the needle and there's a suction where it pops back through and as it pull back air, you're in, you're in the skin. So that was good. So for one, we don't want to waste the vaccine. For two, we want to make sure they get it all. Are you ready? You ready? All right, guys. So this might be the last video of these puppies until they leave with their families next week. So some, if I've got time, so we just had a litter 12 born <laughs> last night. But if I've got time, I might do some videos of getting them all ready, trimming up their eyes, their feet, their nails shaving the pads, their private areas, all that good stuff, getting them prepared to leave. But I might not be able to, but let's hope so. All right, let's go get Mr. Green. All right, so here's Mr. Green. My goodness, look at all their hair. So next week, right before they leave is when we'll trim all their hair again. So they look kind of scruffy right now, but you can tell their hair grows really fast. <laughs> So, cause we trimmed it last week. What handsome. So here's Mr. Green. So this was the family, they've named him Archie. This was the family, the two sisters that came to visit. The one that are buying are getting him. Then the other sister that's gonna be the guardian for our girl is the other sister. So this is one of them. So they came to visit, but you'll see that in the last video. He's so cute, so cute with his, look at his pink nose. He's wanna look at the other dogs in here walking around. All right, so vaccine, tint the skin, push through, pull back, there's a suction. So you give it, sorry, was I pushing you down? Oh, I just love these puppies. I am so glad if you guys can see how easy, you know, it is for, them to not stress, them to not have to go back to the vet to get exposure of stuff like that too. Um, you know, we keep it, you know, in the fridge with a thermometer, you know, make sure, goodness, the power didn't go out, stuff like that. Like we make sure that it's stored correctly when it comes, it still has the frozen packs in it. Well, the ice, of course it can't, it's not supposed to freeze, but um, you know, it's got the ice and stuff like that. So we do everything we can to make sure these babies stay healthy and they are just happy and getting everything they need before they go to their new homes. What do you think, Mr. Archie? All right, let's go get Miss Pink. So here's Miss Pink. So if you guys remember, her family also came to visit in the last video of this litter and they picked her from the, you know, the last two. So we kept purple, they had her, the pick of her in orange. And this is the one that they picked and they named her Miss Callie Grace. What do you think, Miss Callie? <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my goodness. She has, which everybody's got really good temperaments in this litter, but she's really got a really, really nice one. All right, vaccine, tint the skin, push through, pull back, there's a suction. So we give it. Yes, we do. I know, and I'm so mean, aren't I? I am so mean. All right, Miss Callie. Callie Grace. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous girl. All right, next is Mr. Red, so Let's go grab him. So here's Mr. Red. So this family also came to visit to make sure they didn't have any allergies. Remember, there was a video on that too. And they did fine. So the son had allergies, but did not have an allergy to him. Super excited about that. He's a super sweet boy. He is very lovey and he is playful. So, um, but he's just, he minds really well. So, love him. All right, so here's his vaccine. So, tint the skin, push through, pull back, there's a suction. So we give it. Um, 
So they are naming him Mellow. You think it fits him? He's such a good boy. All right, so next is Miss Purple. This week, she's kind of been our crazy, not crazy girl, but she's been kind of very, very, very happy. So let's get her out and see what she does. So here's Miss Purple. She's not doing too bad right now. Look at her holding her ears down. She's so funny. When I was taking her pictures yesterday, she wants to hold those ears down and I'm like, put them up. <laughs> Cause see how it's not very attractive. It's almost like she looks scared, but it's almost like she's smiling. <laughs> like she's holding her ears back and she sits there and her tail's wagging a little. So it's kind of just like, I don't know what it is, but she, I'm like, perk them ears up. Can you see that tail? <laughs> She's so sweet though. <laughs> Look at her. Perk your ears up, Miss Pris. So this family, so this was the other twin that had already bought one for me. So they're rebuyers, but she's gonna be a guardian. And um, they're naming her Lottie. So this will be Miss Lottie on our website for our future litters, hopefully, probably in 2024. But ain't she cute? Pretty girl. I can't wait to see what she does for us. All right, here's a vaccine. Tent the skin, push through, pull back. There's a suction. She kind of twitched. You're the only one that gave me any, any reaction to that. <laughs> she twitched her skin, her shoulder. Good girl, Miss Lottie. She's actually a very, not really sturdy, what's the word for it? Like, um, you can, you can do anything, all of the puppies really, but she's more of like, she kind of, she gives you attitude. Like she looks at you with her eyes, like, are you, are you serious? So, can't wait to trim that up some. They look so much better when all that white and stuff is trimmed back real prim and proper, but we'll do that before they leave next week. Let's go get Miss Orange. So here's Miss Orange. As you can see that tail, happy, happy, happy. She's so sweet. Look at that speckled nose. Super sweet. So as soon as I had posted the video after Puppy Pick and showing that she was still available, I did have a family contact me that same day and sent the application in and then wanted to chat the next day. So we could figure out if it was gonna be a right fit for them. And I think it's going to be perfect. The family that she's gonna to go to, I think is just incredible. You know, they're home full time. I love that. I love for my people to, not that, you know, we can't have full time workers, but it's really hard for people that, you know, have kids and work full time and the puppy's home, you know, for, for eight to 10 hours a day and then, you get home and you're busy and you're tired and <laughs> all of that stuff. So I, I think she is going to do fantastic with her home. <laughs> she won't look, you see her tail continues to wag, but this is Miss Orange. We had already ordered leashes by the time we went through puppy pick and stuff like that. So I don't have a name written down for her. So I don't know yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be perfect. So. She's a sweet, sweet girl. She's very happy, but she's very sweet. All right, vaccine. Tint the skin. Pull back, push through. There was a suction. You got a kiss? Oh, a little kiss, huh? I try not to get them too excited, especially when it's video time. But she does get pretty happy. Happy, happy. Oh, thanks. All right, guys, last one's Mr. Yellow. Let's go grab him. Last but not least is Mr. Yellow. He's wagging his tail too. So this family was the one that we had to make the phone call with. So they wanted a puppy that looked more like Eleanor. 
So not quite the tuxedo. You know, you see how the white goes up between his eyes? They didn't exactly have to have the tuxedo, they just wanted calm. Calm and mellow. So I'm super excited because they got that with him. So obviously he's a puppy. He's gonna play, he's gonna be, you know, energy. He's gonna have energy, he's a puppy, just like kids. But he actually is gonna go to our trainer, Justin, for the first four weeks. So that's exciting too, because I'm hoping to get some videos of him throughout the four week period. So I can put a little video together for you guys so y'all can see what he does, what he offers, because he's great. We've had a handful of puppies go there and the families just rave about what a good job he does. But another thing I wanna do is you see how he's got his hair growing out in front of his eyes. Well, he does have a strip that goes up between his eyes of the white, but since the family didn't exactly care for the tuxedo markings and thought it would be okay for Eleanor. Of course, I'm gonna ask first. But when I trim his face, I'm actually gonna trim it a little bit shorter and show you, you we can almost take all that white out. You know, as they grow, it does kind of thin out until they get older. Um, but, you know, if once the hair grows, that's where you cut it and you can leave it or you can thin it out and make it not as white, kind of stuff like that. So I'm gonna, I wanna do a little transformation from him next week when we, when we do the trimming and see, see what it looks like. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's very sweet. Happy for you. He's gonna live in Florida. Florida boy. That's where I'm from. So we're from, I'm from Orlando. All right, so last vaccine, tint the skin, push through, pull back, there's a suction. And you didn't even react. And you didn't even react. All right, so that is it for Mr. Yellow. We're gonna go put him back with his siblings and keep a check on them. So we definitely have to keep a little check on them for the next hour or so to make sure nobody has any reactions. So when we say we wanna check for no reaction, so anytime a pet period gets a vaccine, your vet should always tell you for the next hour or two to keep an eye on them. It really, if they're gonna have a reaction, more than likely it's gonna be within 15 minutes. So, you know, usually within an hour or two, we like to keep a check on them, just like this afternoon. I'm here for the afternoon. If I were getting ready to leave and go somewhere, I wouldn't wanna give the vaccines right yet because you have to stay around. You wanna watch for lethargic, drooling, just not feeling good. I really, I never have any of these issues with our puppies, um, especially here. If, if they're here with the first vaccines now, if we have had some of our dogs before, just like some of any, if they go to their new home and then in a month, they get, you know, distemper, bordetella, lepto, like they get a whole bunch of vaccines at one time, which we do not recommend. They might get, they might get really sick. They might not want to eat for a couple days. They might throw up. They might be really sore, that type of thing. So definitely just like we always say, we go by what our holistic vet taught us. You know, we definitely want to vaccinate them to make sure they're covered, but we also don't want to over vaccinate. It can be worse. We always say spread the vaccines out four weeks apart. You can do Bordetella with any of them. Um, if you're doing Distemper and Lepto together, don't do Bordetella at the same time, wait. Um, and then Rabies for sure. Rabies and Bordetella can be given together, but otherwise Rabies really needs to stay by itself. So that is a vaccine that you just don't want a reaction to happen. And we can you know, spread them out four weeks apart and then they won't have to get you know, clusters together. You don't have to worry about them, you know, having reactions and stuff like that. So if you found today's video, like you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe link and we will see you next time. Bye.